If you want to get your token into Jupyter, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to list your token in Jupyter step by step in just 5 minutes. Before starting with Jupyter, of course we need a token, so I made a tutorial here on how to do it and I will let you the link in the description. Also we need to create a liquidity pool because Jupyter doesn't support liquidity pools yet, so you can do it in radio. I will leave the documentation on the description on how to do it and you can see here another video on how to create a liquidity pool. Then now we can go directly to Jupyter in order to get our token here. So we can select our token here and swap it and any user can do it. So as I was saying, for getting our token listed on Jupyter, first we need to create the liquidity pool and once we have the liquidity pool, what we need to do is open the Jupyter GitHub create a pull request with our token information and then they can verify the token and get and put it into the swap available okay so let's start here here we have the documentation here they explain how to do it but what we need to know is here here they have the token list repo so here we need to open this repository and we need to create a pull request with the info we need to provide okay so what we need to do as they are showing here <coughs> is create a pull request like this one okay so it's just doing a pull request requesting um, to validate our token in this case I'm going to use a token I have created before smithy okay and for starting we need to fork this repository fork means create our own version of the repository so we click here on fork if you don't have a github account you can create it really easily okay so we create the new fork here we click on create fork and we will see our own version of the repository under our profile perfect here we have our own version of the repo okay and what we need to do here is add our token to validated token csf Okay, so for doing it, we click on code, code space, and create code space on main. Okay, here we can see a code space, okay, like a place where we can code a repository, and we can see the different layers we have in the rep. The main one and the important one is validated token, so we click on it and we open here uh, an archive, a CSF, with all the tokens listed in Radium and here we should add our own token in order to get it listed okay so for doing that we have name symbol token address decimals token image and we need to add true okay so we can see here the token i will use i have here the token address so i will copy it first the name name is smithy the symbol is c okay Next, the token address, so I paste the one I, I copied. Now the decimals, you can see them here, nine. And we need to add the token image. So for doing it, we can uh, right click here and open a new, open the image in a new window. And here we have the link, okay? It could be another web link or any other website link. Um, we can add it here, perfect, and we add true okay okay now that we have done this we can see here in the left side a uh, commit symbol with a one so we click on it and here we can commit commit is basically merge uh, try to merge the changes to the repo or upload the changes to the repo so instead of commit i will click here and commit and create pull request so uh, we can confirm and now we need to add a commit message okay this is set by by jupiter and we need to put validate or token in this case validate smithy we click here in the check and now we are starting the pull request here we can see the pull request and we have a template that we need to, to modify in order to get it listed okay so we need to put this info here uh, on the template so first of all the token symbol 
here okay now the link to the token so we can paste here the mint address which is the token address okay i need to copy it here and paste perfect the next step will be making a tweet for our, from our twitter account and put it here in this tweet we need to put the mint address of the token and tag jupiter in order to verify the identity so we open twitter perfect we will put here uh, the token address and jupiter okay in this case we can take any random tweets so i will get this one and we can paste it um, here perfect i will put twitter instead of x okay now the next step will be adding a, a coin gecko on or coin market cap link but as it as we don't have it there we can do it and to finish we need to check mark these different options so uh, the metadata provided in the pr matches okay we will have first one check second one check to check we only need to add a, an x in the space and here we can check this one and this last one okay now we can review that everything is correct and we only need to click on create the pull request so now we are creating the pull request and this info will go directly to jupiter here we can see the info we have provided so now we have done the pull request and we only need to pay to jupiter to verify usually they validate tokens within 24 48 hours okay so it's important they drop here some guidelines um, in order to get more chances to get validated because they don't accept all every token okay so this would be the, the whole process if you don't have your token on jupiter yet this is the best moment to do it okay we are in the memet coin season token are pumping jupiter is pumping it's the most used exchange right now so go there list your token and go to the moon thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye